What's up all you cool cats and shop rats? Welcome back to Rule Hard Garage. This week we're starting a new build. Not just any build, this is gonna be a budget build. This is for Lindsay for Mother's Day. I'm gonna show you guys the day that I went to go pick the bike up, uh, brought it back and surprised Lindsay with it. Also, I'm gonna show you the same day when I pretty much just stripped the entire bike down uh, the day that we got it, because that's how I roll. Uh, then we're gonna talk about why I chose the bike that I chose, what I paid for it, uh, what our plans for it are. I'll just roll the footage. Alright, so we are in a huge hurry, headed to go buy a motorcycle right now. It was literally posted like at midnight last night and uh, I messaged the guy and he's got all kinds of people messaging him, made him an offer, he's good with the offer. Um, so I'm running to the bank, grabbing the money and we're heading back and uh, this is Lindsay's surprise Mother's Day present. She is sleeping and she has no idea that I'm going uh, to do this. So she's probably gonna wake up while I'm gone. I'm not sure what I'm gonna tell her and I'm not sure what I'm gonna tell her when I show up with the motorcycle, but uh, we gotta jump on this deal right now and we gotta go get it. So check it out. Happy Mother's Day! <laughs> So we just got it home. Uh, here's the scoop. I'm going to kind of give you the backstory. I've been looking for a Honda Shadow for Lindsay or any small bike, but preferably a Shadow because I love fucking Hondas. Um, and then the VLX, which has got the pipes on the same side and looks much cooler, sounds much better. It's got soft tail style suspension. Uh, it's just, it's a way cooler bike. So I found this, it was posted late last night and I, I messaged the guy first thing this morning, like five in the morning. When I got there, he was asking $1,600 for it. The first thing that I noticed when I walked up to the bike uh, was this spot on the frame, which may be hard to tell, but it looked like it got the frame got ran into something, like it got laid down. And then more evidence of that back here on this foot pedal some rash on the fender, lots of rash on the uh, blinker there. Everything looked pretty good and the thing started up and, and ran like, you know, perfect. And when I took it for a ride, I, I noticed that there was something goofy going on with the handlebars, which I'm sure you can't see, but something was off so when I got back I started giving it a look over and what did I find the forks are bent you probably also can't see that in the video but right here you know right below the the triple tree here it must have been laid down ran into a curb something like that fork tubes are bent so we got to replace the fork tubes and that's okay because we're probably gonna do a pretty modest bob on this bike um, pull the blinkers off and make some handlebars for it. it's got one inch bars on it which is pretty fucking dope because I can make handlebars uh, I got a die and a bender for the one inch but we're gonna make some handlebars for it we're gonna ditch all this weird goofy leather stuff maybe make a sissy bar for it do a fender uh, maybe do something different with the exhaust clean it up a little bit just you know strip it down and make it look cool 
get some decent grips for it, shit like that, all that jazz. All that jazz, we're gonna get her bobbed out. Get her, get her bobbed out. like about the VT600 is it's got a nice low seat height it's already got that chopper kind of shape going on with it um, and from what I've seen everybody who builds these bikes despite them being liquid cooled and seeming to be a little bit more complicated once they get stripped down you really can't see that uh, Honda did a really good job at kind of tucking everything away making everything look nice and neat uh, and I can appreciate that all right so what are my plans with the VT600 uh, well we're not getting too crazy with it this year. I really wanted to buy something that I could just throw together and she could ride. I wanted it to be cheap because I wanted to do a budget build. Uh, I really want to keep this build under $2,000 and I want to just smash miles on this thing. It's already May, so we need to get this thing back together. Uh, so we're not touching anything on the engine. Stock exhaust, stock intake, we're not messing with the carbs, we're not messing with any of that stuff because I wanted to get it together and ride. Um, I'm trying to use things that I have in the shop, parts that I already have. I'm trying to buy as little as possible. Like I said, I'm trying to keep this build under $2,000 and I'm trying to just use what we have. I'm also trying to repurpose things that are already on the bike so that you guys have that opportunity to see that it's not always about buying the coolest parts or having to build the coolest parts. Uh, it really is about taking pride in what you build and just trying to chop what you got and use what you have and I'm all about that and that's what we're returning to with this build. We're building a new set of bars for it already. Uh, that video will be coming out probably next week. Um, also, we already started working on the tail section. We got a seat on it. Uh, so everything is really chugging along. So just stay tuned. All these build videos are going to be coming back out. If you want to watch the VT600 project build, subscribe, hit the bell, like, comment, share this video. Let me know how much you love them. Until next time, peace.